Relationship connector Katanana Samade Sword has disclosed that evil contracts really exist in the Zambian music industry, as revealed by Hope Chilish known as Ivanka Bianca. Two days ago, Ivanka Bianca had a mental breakdown on Facebook where she disclosed that her life was under threat from evil cults who killed artist Dev. I'm here, I'm putting my effort in the things that I want to see grow and these donkeys Chimundu Chakura, Chakura, Chisiel, Chisiel, I want to have a moon, I want to go deep to my impure I want to have a moon, I want to have a strip These people try to kill me, I'm telling you guys, they put poison in my foot Standing to Ivanka Bianca's defense is Katanana Zord who disclosed that she suffered the same fate before turning out to God for help Ms. Zord disclosed that sometime in 2014 to 2016, Zambezi Magic had offered her a good opportunity to showcase her lifestyle on TV via a reality show, and offered her over a 1 million kwacha. She disclosed that, after she was given the opportunity, Zambezi Magic recommendated a Zambian artist to work with her, and turned out that the gentleman did not want anything to do with God. Kakanana stated that she ended up losing the opportunity because the artist who came on board was a devil worshipper and cancelled her deal with Zambezi Magic. She encouraged Ivanka Bianca to stay away from her phone and engage God on a serious level away from social media for her to find light at the end of the day. About Ivanka Bianca Once upon a time before all these other people did reality shows and said, I started recording a reality show about my real life, struggles and successes as an artist and proposed it to Zambezi Magic. I quit at some point when I met God and decided to focus on my relationship with God. In 2018, their commissioning editor contacted me to do the reality show. The money was good at almost 1 million kwacha for a season to be shot in two months. I was reluctant because I was now Christian and did not want to do any of the crazy stuff I used to do. They assured me that I would have full control of the story and that if God was a big part of my life, they were willing to include that side. After all, the majority of their audience was Christian anyway. They proposed a group of producers for me to work with and I picked the one who was a musician because I thought he would understand my needs as an artist. When I met this man, he kept telling me about how DSTV does not allow talking about God. He asked me to write the draft about my story, it included the story of my conversion to Christ, and other things, interestingly one of the stories was visiting my father's grave. Anyway I assured him that the team in South Africa were okay with it. But he wasn't. He tried in all forms and ways to mess with my project including giving me 60 pen out of the project, and the rest for himself. I realized this working relationship would be difficult and told him I was not going to manage. Next day I decided to email the team in South Africa about it. They responded with an email attachment. This Zambian musician had taken my life story and patented, legally registered, it as his own ati he wrote it. He had written to Zambezi Magic Commissioning Editor to say that he owned my story that he did not want to work with me and that if they produced a show with that storyline, he would sue them. Zambezi's reaction was they refused to have anything to do with me, literally blacklisted me. Yet they continued to work with him. That son of Satan, I say this because I know he is a devil worshipper. He may have done this to me but Zambezi is not exactly innocent in this. They had contacted me and knew the story before they engaged him to work with him. So they knew he was lying yet they blacklisted me and have worked with him for years. I went mad just like Bianca, but fortunately I had family and friends. They are the people that saw me lose it and thankfully no FB livestream then. After two years in the dark no business or work I thought this was my big break. To that man and your fellow devil worshipper friends in the industry God will not be mocked. How dare you steal his story meant to help other people reach salvation? I have forgiven you and handed you over to God, may vengeance be his. I often ask that I do not see when God decides to punish people because of how terrible his wrath is, but for you, I have requested a front row seat. May his vengeance visit you and may he reward you according to your deeds. To Bianca, 
You cannot fight these people on your own, or with witchcraft, or with low-level astro-spirituality. You need the power of God, the King of Kings, He who is above all. Put your phone away. Worship God with Psalms 18 and see how He will come for you. Less than 1% of the people in Zambia have been where you are, therefore will never understand what you are going through. Venting to them is simple comedy to them. To Zambezi magic, you must do better. Playing innocent as you turn a blind eye to the injustices being done under your name makes you just as guilty as the perpetrators. Change.